So I have arrived in Memphis, Tennessee for Elvis Presley's 88th birthday week. And I just passed by this cool Elvis location. September 1954. Elvis, Scotty and Bill played on a trailer right here in the middle of this parking lot area. This shopping center had its grand opening. It was a Cats, I believe. And these buildings had its grand opening. And Elvis had a show here. I've interviewed a girl that was at the concert. And she said uh, she don't remember it being a big crowd. But she does remember Elvis singing right here on the stage. Now there's a few photos I'm about to show you that I believe could have been captured back in this area where they parked at. What y'all think? All right, so make sure you join me all Elvis Presley birthday week. I will be uploading a video or try to upload a video every day for you so you can feel like you're here in Memphis with Glow Trotting with Trey. Elvis, Scotty and Bill and Johnny Cash was here September 1954. Once upon a time. All right, spa guy, Elvis week. Wait, no, I'm off a few months. It's Elvis, Elvis birthday, birthday week. week. His 20, 23. 88th? Uh, yeah, I believe that's right. Elvis would be- 88 will, years he old He will be week. 88 years old if he was still with us, of course. 88. Yeah, I think this Sunday. Yeah. But spa guy, you and I right now, we are heading to do our first part one Elvis locations history tour here in Memphis. We're about to meet our, you know, Elvis's fans and fans of our YouTube shows. And they're going to ride around Memphis, Tennessee to, man, what, over 50 locations? At, at least. And right now, we just passed, Baptist Hospital is right behind us. Yeah. We passed where the funeral home was, right over there where Bristol on Union is. A lot of Elvis history happened right here. There's Methodist where Gladys passed away. Uh, Bellevue, which is Elvis Presley Boulevard, Highway 51 is right over there. We just passed that. Uh, we're passing Crump Boulevard, which was uh, a very influential figure, Mr. Crump. And uh, Elvis went to Crump Crump's daughter's house for a formal dinner in 1956 while they were living at Audubon. That's true. And Crump Stadium. And Crump it's Stadium, that's right. Elvis. Elvis went to Crump Stadium uh, late and didn't get to crown the queen. Yeah, but she still did get a kiss. But so. she got a kiss from Elvis, so all is well in in the Queen's world. In the Queen's world. But yeah, man, so what, what the spy guy and I do all week is we do a three-hour tour. We have two two of them, part one and part two. And you get to spend three, it's, it's, it's described as three hours, but it usually goes over three hours, yeah. uh, Billy. And usually all the fans, they want to stay on the tour bus and keep going. <laughs> that's right. And, and that's what we do. So we take you to YouTube locations that you've seen on our show, some that you have not. And we actually stand at the very place that the history took place and teach you about it. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to join us during Elvis week this coming August or back in January. And, you know, we may have some times throughout the year that Billy and I will come back to Memphis, Tennessee and do this part one, part two history tour. And that's a good point. If you have a group of people that would be coming to Memphis, let us know to fill this bus up to make it worth our while to come here we for have, a day or two days, we could do something like you that. You know, yeah, we have 13 seats. Yeah. So check that out. 13 seats on the bus. So if you have a group coming, message me on Glow Trotting with Trey, message the spa guy, and we'll try to take care of business and see if we'll make a trip to Memphis just for you. Yeah, we could do something like that. And by the way, where we're at right now, we're coming up on South Parkway. There is the barbecue restaurant right or the pizza restaurant. Actually, over here at Coletta's that Elvis liked. His church was back there. Yeah, and by the way, the right mausoleum that he was originally put in is right coming up it. on our left. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, when you're driving around, you really don't realize 
how many Elvis spots you're driving by. There's hey, just tons of them. And the cool part about this, this highway was not here when Elvis was here, and it took out a part of the neighborhood that Elvis was with uh, Ronald Smith. That's right. Part of mm -hmm. our tour. So, you know, there's all kind of history all around us as we're driving. So, guys, all week, Elvis Birthday Week highlight videos on Glow Trotting with Trey, me and the spa guy. You're going to see a lot of cool things that we do. And uh, this is our Elvis Birthday Week, right? Spy That's guy? right. We're not participating in any of the other stuff. Oh, all those people, there's the mausoleum. Yeah, it's mausoleum. Uh, right over there. But all those people can can do the things that they want to do and whatever. That's exactly. fine. Exactly. We don't we don't have to uh, to mess with those folks. There's the mausoleum right there. Yeah, there it is. Elvis was originally buried right there. All right, or guys. Entombed would tuned be a better word. For what, a few months? But uh, yeah, for a couple of months. A couple of months. Moved. Yeah. So they still in his still in. They tried to steal yeah. his body. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Depends on what you believe. All right, guys. So my arm's about to fall off. So I'm gonna cut this and pick you up later. You need to be lifting weights more. Hey, I do lift weights. I have a uh, awesome physique. Are you ladies? All right, so yeah, we'll we'll pick it up here in a minute. <laughs> There's Elvis Presley Boulevard, and when you get off of the interstate here, there's that uh, Memphis Visitor Center. We're on Brooks Road now. Brooks Road, and Billy, I see a place. Oh, over, it's familiar. Over there, familiar. There's Hernando's, and we're gonna cruise up here by the Tiger Man and see if it's open. And I know the answer to it, it is not. And the reason it's not is because it is tied up in a court battle. Oh, that means you are a 50% owner? Hmm, isn't that weird? That's kind of You weird. know, it's hard to tie something up in a court battle if you don't own it. So, here we are, birthday week 2023, and the gates are locked at the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum. It that is sitting there empty. That was such a cool place, Billy. It was a really, really cool place, and it's a shame that it's closed, but it's closed for, I mean, I, well, we're not even going to go into no. it. Just say that, just let's just say that there's no purpose in it being closed exactly. no other purpose. than just stupidity. Stupidity. The bottom line is, Billy, that place was open for the fans and the fans, the people watching. They're there, the ones suffering. You and I, because we're fans, mm -hmm. and the people here in Memphis, Tennessee this week, they're the ones that are suffering because y'all are paying the price of the stupidity. Mm -hmm. So now, let's go up to Marlowe's so. though. That's another cool Elvis. Place. Well, we're going to the to the guest oh, house yeah. first. We got to pick up some. We got to pick up a. Uh, uh, a uh, friend uh, that has been on the bus tour before and he reached out and said hey man coming to town again can you pick me up on the way and I said you know what no I can't <laughs> take an uber take a, oh, you tell me, take a and uber, then right? I said psych like that I'll be right at the guest house that's right me. so right here on the right where the shell station is is where Vickers was there's a famous photos of Elvis there with his motorcycle and fans with a black leather jacket with the badge from Roy Nixon on it there's Lonely Street. Heartbreak Hotel used to be down there, and you know where it's at the end of? Lonely Street. <laughs> yeah. That's no Lonely Street right there. It's very lonely. And this is the guest house. Now, I think there was a car dealership right here where we're at right now in the car. Well, there was a Nissan dealership here or a Datsun dealership. I that's where Dean it is. came down and Elvis came and ripped the checkup. That's right. And there's also, the dealership I think was further down on yeah, this but corner. right here somewhere. But where we were at was apartments oh, right in okay, here. right in here. So yeah. it was more closer to the road, I yeah, believe. Yeah, there's the Michael dealership. coming up. Let's roll down the window. You gotta let him in. Hey, Michael. Hey, uh... What's up, man? How you doing? You know I'm rolling the camera. Before we're ready. That's it. You know the camera is always rolling, Mike. Yes, the gates of Graceland. Yeah, I was down here for the holiday weekend. So was, you were? Yeah, it was pretty cool. And they did the, uh, the birthday is going to be on the front lawn again yeah. this year. Yeah, I missed it last year. I yeah, because it. it was I over was here. here last year. No, yeah, I was, was here and I forgot all It was up here? Yeah, it was up here. So the year before it was over here. 
gonna be over here. Man. Yeah, it's back over the lawn again. Yeah. Yeah. There's people standing in line. And the Rock and Roll Cafe sadly is closed down. The building yeah, for saw sale. Yeah, I was driving by. Yeah, I went to Marvel's when I was here the last time I saw this closed up. Yeah, I think he's finally decided to retire and sell the building. But if you look right here, you see the tunnel. If you look to your left, you'll be able to see through back to where those train tracks are. See, it goes all the way through. Yeah. So you can park over there. But it was a great uh, uh, place to stay. Now it's a little pricey, but it's not really no more pricey than the guest house. So this is the arcade restaurant you're talking about. There's an Elvis booth. If you go in, it's on the uh, far left on this it's in, on the back. And they claim Elvis would sit there with his back to the door, um, which is possible. And that restaurant, by the way, is in a lot of movies. And you see all of these uh, trams here in Memphis. These were not here during Elvis's time. These were here before and after. So this is Elvis's bedroom. I wonder how many times he snuck out of this window back in the day here at Lauderdale Ports. That's Elvis's bedroom window there. So those windows that you see up top, that's where the auditorium is that he did that. Up on the second floor up there. Third floor. Yeah. Oh shit, huh? Oh shit. But those guys would have hung out back here. Yeah, I remember, and I think Buzzy told me that he borrowed his shirt to wear to the that. Yes, he did say that. That show. Yeah. I said, Buzzy, what happened to the shirt? He said, I wish I knew. <laughs> Buzzy, why you did not keep that? I think he said Elvis kept it. Yeah. Oh, I don't doubt that. <laughs> so I assume Elvis just walked to school, right? Yeah. All right, so this is another little addition, something new. The guy um, that Jimmy he Denson. played views with, Jimmy Denson, said that they would bring Elvis to Sunday school at this church right down here. And they all lived at Lauderdale together, all those, those folks. So during that time, those four years that he lived there, before he started going to the Blackwood Brothers Church, he would have gone to this church. So still. this is where he came as a kid. It's still here? Yeah, right there. Elvis Audition, you see where it says that, that door on the left right there is the living room. The, the two windows you see there is a bedroom, but that window and all that is in there. That is where Elvis auditioned for Scotty Moore, that, the left door right there. So what was he wearing that day, Bill? He was wearing white with pink, white pants, if I remember right, with pink stripes. And seemed like a, uh, a pink with black shirt and white uh, patent leather shoes. And he walked right up that porch and went through that door and auditioned for Scotty Moore and Bill. And what, G, uh, what Bobby said was she went down to, to Bill's, and I'll show you where Bill lived. She walked back up with Evelyn a couple of hours later. Elvis was still in there playing and they had the windows and the doors open. The neighbors started coming and just listened to Elvis. They all just sat on the couch and just listened. If you can imagine, you know, there was no heat and air, you know, there was no air in there or anything, or there was heat, but there was no air. So they had the windows and doors open. And the thing that Scotty, when he called Sam that day, he said, well, what did you think? He said, well, you know, I thought he was an all right singer, but he knew a lot of songs. He knew basically every song. He was impressed by how many songs he knew. But that's where Scotty lived. And the other thing that no, that we know that this is it is in Scotty's book, he describes, and I actually, it's in the video. I go in this apartment and, you know, I get to go in. And he, he describes in the book the layout, the where the rooms were, how they were situated. He s describes that it was a quadruplex, which there's two units here, two units around the corner. So this is definitely the spot where Elvis came at audition, no doubt. So the next day after this, he records. That's all right, Mama. 
Yeah, the one that you hear today. Mm -hmm. wow. the, that's the original version. There's your uh, Google car. Look at that. And he's going down November, November the 6th Street. You see that? That fountain down there that you just saw down at the end of November, I did a story about all that. I can't remember the details of November the 6th Street. There was something going on. So this light's going to change when we go through it. If you look to your left, there'll be a building that's a bank building that has three arches. I'll try to point it out. I'll try to go slow and point it out. You see it right down there. You see where it's got the, the columns, kind of a sandstone. That's where when Houdini came to town, he hung off the edge of that building to try to draw a crowd to see him over at the place where uh, Elvis got the parking ticket. He was there at the, uh, what would it have been back then, the Orpheum. Mm -hmm. Now this right here is where 165, that is where they would do the, uh, the shows. Uh, that was a place where they had regular country music shows in where this building is yeah, at. It was the Goodwin Institute. The Goodwin Institute. And that's where the guitar got stolen. Remember Boulevard Souvenirs used to be across the street from Graceland, next, between Graceland and the guest house. They got kicked out, right? That's where they are now. They moved to right there. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. So another interesting thing about this little spot here is if you watch my video about the first pink Cadillac, there was two pink Cadillacs that got painted pink. Mm -hmm. If you watch my video about the very first pink Cadillac and where the, uh, the, the, the guy that I interviewed worked at the paint shop, which was at 676, he was in this middle unit. So the very first pink Cadillac, the pink paint was mixed in that building right there. So we could tie Elvis to this building. We can also tie Elvis to the building where Baby Grand is was a place that had coconut cream pie that everybody loved all over town. And the guy that I interviewed that worked here remembered seeing Elvis and the guys come here and go in this restaurant. So Elvis was in this building, no doubt. Another thing he said he remembered was coming out front and seeing him stand out front smoking cigarettes. He could see him down there. And uh, I've got that interview on the, if you watch the video I did about the first pink Cadillac, how it got painted pink, what color it is. Um, he'll describe this building and tell all the stuff that happened over in here. But yep, they got kicked out by Graceland and that's where they ended up right there. Which is not a great spot, not when you were across the street from Graceland. Now, something that's interesting about this building and things that you'll notice in Nash or in Memphis, a lot of the buildings are skewed and what I mean is they're not rectangle or square. It's like they, they built them and then did that. So look at the bricks on the corner. You see how they're offset? The building is actually a trapezoid. You see that? Yeah. And uh, you'll see those trapezoids all over town and I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to do that because it takes away from your square footage. So there's gotta be a reason for that, like a, a codes thing or something of that nature that makes it where you don't have to comply with this if you're, the building's skewed or so. I don't know, there's gotta be a reason, but I've never figured it out. And Jimmy Velvet owned that building at one point and painted the whole building velvet. Hmm. And uh, another thing is, is some of the fellas, Roy Orbison lived upstairs, they had apartments. So a lot of the guys lived there and I actually got to meet Stan Kessler upstairs there. He worked in the record shop. Stan wrote, I'm left, you're right, she's gone. I forgot to remember to forget. He played on a lot of stuff too. It really changes the perspective and it also brings the story back to life, you know. They're getting a, getting yep. a paint job. Yep, that's nice. That's going to look nice when they're done. But this is where they pulled up, right here where this truck is at. But Elvis would have been in that window right there. That's where his unit was right there. The amount of flowers that was covered was, yep. was incredible. Inside this area, 
which I've never been inside here before. But this is the one that Elvis was in, the second one. It's this one right here. Yeah, I believe this one. Yeah. And what they're doing, friends, is they're painting and sealing and getting the whole thing ready to go, which is very, very cool. And then they'll clean it up and do the floor. Yeah. See if they can focus. Yeah, I've never been here where that gate I've was never open. Been able to go inside there. Yeah, that's very cool. And our fans that were on the tour bus, Elvis fans, they were able to experience this with us. That's right. Right place, right time. The friends, we are in the mausoleum here in Memphis, Tennessee, and y'all are not from Memphis. No, sir. We're from uh, Spartanburg area, Western Carolina, North Carolina. Worked for Western Carolina, stuck on the stone. We got picked to redo this. They wanted it done right, and our company wouldn't allow nothing but that. That's right. So y'all came down here to do a restoration on this. Yes, this sir. is, of course, the place where Elvis in, uh, was originally entombed in August 16, 1977. And y'all are doing a restoration on this to seal it up and make it nice because it's, yes, it's sir. needed some attention. A lot of cosmetic work. Yeah. So what all did y'all do to it? We redid the ceilings and the walls where it needed to be. And we're sealing the outside and we're filling in the holes where we make sure we have no leaks. And we just want to make it look good. Yeah. Take care of Elvis, right? Yes, take sir. Take care of him. Take care of business. Yes, sir. So y'all are a little ways from home, man. Great to see y'all. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Thank y'all. One thing it's you a did. Big deal. One thing you did mention that you've been watching the Spy Guys videos all the time. Yep, I sent it to everybody I know just to, <laughs> just to prove cool. where we were. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. And yeah. we just pulled up. You see, you recognize him. I recognized him immediately because when he came in, he said, "Oh, it needs a little work in here." I said, "I'd love to see him and show him what we did." Yeah. Y'all go. He pulled right up. <laughs> I told my wife, I "said Man, go get him. That's him." Isn't that funny? Yeah. We appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> no, we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for coming all this way to take care of this. Yes, sir. Thank and you. And I'm glad that they're doing it. The, the, yes, sir. The, the funeral homes doing it. You know, oh yeah. For sure. What's the time frame? Yeah. What's the? We probably got about another week left. Another yeah. Week. How yes, long sir. have you been here? Uh, about. Six weeks. Six wow. weeks, okay. Yes, it's a, a lot, lot of demolition. Of a lot yeah. of work. A lot of work. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, we're going to let you get back to taking care of business. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, Appreciate you. Yes, Thank sir. You. Company is Western Carolina. Western Carolina stuck on stone, yes sir. 864-415-3083. Do you have a website? Yes sir, he does. Western Carolina stuck on stone. Alright guys, so if y'all ever need some work, the yeah, same we're doing guys it. that's doing this. You know we're good if we gotta do this. Got that right. They can take care of business. Yes, sir. Right, Thank man, you, buddy. So you just did a three-hour tour with myself and the spy guy. What'd you yeah, think? Man, Great. It was it wonderful. Was awesome. Learned a lot. Enjoyed the ride. Saw places. We would have never seen otherwise. What do you like about we it? We love watching the spa guy and the globe trotting with Trey videos so much and it all comes to life on this tour and the research is ongoing and don't miss it. It was awesome, great. Enjoyed it. You see parts of Memphis and a lot a lot of Elvis history that you don't get to read about or see. What do you like about it? I was impressed by all of the spa guy is awesome and you are too. So, yes, yeah, yeah, Spy Guy and Trey, y'all are spot on. A lot of history, a lot of things that we didn't know anything about. And uh, I'm looking forward to August. I'm going to come back and do part two. Okay. And it's Elvis' birthday, so, I mean, it was great. It was really money well spent Yes. that I can't get down the street here at Grayson. Well, tell me this. Why are you an Elvis fan, man? I just, I was seven when he died, and my, my parents listened to him. And, you know, when he died, it threw everything into chaos. And, Everybody went and bought records, so the fans who were fans for a long time didn't listen to me anymore. It rehatched it. Okay. So growing up, you didn't really have a choice when you're seven years old. So listen to a lot of Elvis and a lot of Kiss. So Elvis and Kiss. Yeah, that's a mixture, you know. <laughs> they Kiss probably liked Elvis. So oh yeah, yeah. That group. Yeah. What about you? Why are you an Elvis fan? I've always liked his music. He seemed to be real down to earth, and I wished I could have met the guy. Yeah, I think he, to me, he was a, he was a fascinating person. Yes. And yeah, most probably definitely. a cool guy to have yeah. on, you know. And being in Whitehaven and seeing all those spots where he was at, where he got his car fixed, you know, Vickers gas station, and uh, that you guys know all that, because I didn't know it. 
and it's just neat. So next time I drive down Graceland, I'll be looking for those spots. Exactly. Now you and, know. And now, now you know. And now I can tell people that's where Vickers was. Exactly. Yeah. That's where the, you know that, that's where they worked on the cars. That's where this story happened. Yeah, that's where yeah, that story yeah. Happened. That's McDonald's cool. down the street. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all. Hey, thank this. you, Trey. It was awesome, buddy. I'll really see y'all in August. It. See you All in right. August. If you're in Memphis, Tennessee this week for Elvis's 88th birthday celebration 2023, join me and the Spa Guy for a three-hour tour. We still have a few tickets available, so go to www.memphisbustour.com, www.memphisbustour.com, and join me and the Spa Guy for a three-hour tour to Elvis Memphis locations. Hey, and be sure to tune in every day this week. Elvis Presley birthday highlights live from Memphis, Tennessee. Don't miss it.